welcome to Family Adventures on Trikes. Today is a Monday, uh, the 1st of March, and the weather is just beautiful outside. So I think it's the perfect day to start a cycling challenge. So I decided to do a 30-day cycling challenge where I will ride my recumbent trike uh, every day for 30 days, starting uh, with only one kilometer on the first day and then adding uh, one kilometer every day. So on day two, I will ride two kilometers, on day three, three kilometers and so on. And on day 30, I will ride 30 kilometers in a day. Obviously, it's gonna be very easy on the first days, like one kilometer or two kilometers a day. But then uh, when we are trying to start a new habit, sometimes it's very difficult just to start to uh, get out of the house, to start riding. And uh, so in the first days, I, I imagine it will take me much more time to get ready, to get prepared, to get motivated, to go out to ride. But uh, then I know it will be uh, just a quick ride and I'll be back home uh, soon to continue working. And then as the days go by, I imagine that uh, I will get ready much faster and it will become just something I do every day. And then uh, I will be able to ride more on every occasion. So if you're like me, wondering how this will turn out, stay with me in this video and uh, follow me during my 30 days. Let's go. Okay, that was fast. 20 minutes preparation for a 6 minute workout. Day 2. Today I was much faster getting ready. It took me only 7 minutes. And I'm off. Usually there would be almost no traffic in this park. But now one of the streets in our neighborhood is closed for some reparation and so everyone is forced to go this way so it's not really enjoyable when they bring all the dust in my face Day 3 Today is a Wednesday and I've had classes since 7 a.m. I'm already quite a bit tired and I think this ride will just do me good to uh, put some air in my head. <laughs> Such a beautiful day. I feel better already. I should actually do this every time I have classes. Just go for a ride in the middle. It's day four. Four kilometers. It's almost starting to feel like a real workout. So in today's four kilometers, I succeeded to reach a cycling lane and it's so much better to ride than on the road. It would be so much easier if there would be a cycling path everywhere we go, right? Day five. The weather today is not so nice. It's changing and it might even rain in the afternoon. But I will try to take the opportunity while it's still uh, relatively warm and nice to go for my today's ride. Wow, horse. Not something you'll see every day. Hey, it's day six. Today is actually quite cold outside. After all, it's just the beginning of the spring, so we can't rely on the weather to be nice every day. But at least it's sunny, mostly, and uh, it's still a pleasure to get out of the house. Actually, I'm a bit late with today's ride. It's almost 5 p.m. and the sun will set down in just a moment. Uh, but tomorrow is Blanca's birthday and I spent the day uh, making her cake and I still have work to do when I get home <laughs> to finish it. 
but hopefully it will turn out good for her. She's very anxious to become four years old tomorrow. Riding later in the afternoon as it's good for it's definitely like seeing a beautiful sunset. As I'm riding today I am thinking about something. Like if I would ride around the town on a regular upright bike, I would be just a normal cyclist and people would generally not pay any attention. But on a trike you are always just noticed on the road. Like everyone is waving at you or honking from the car or just giving you some comments and of course it's usually a nice thing to have and um, like if someone is telling you like yay giving you a thumbs up and uh, I don't know just waving in a friendly way or there are some kids on the side and they're smiling at you and showing to their parents look mom look what is that vehicle and so on and you know that's that's definitely a nice thing to have but then there are these other days like today for me when you just want to have a, some quiet time and your peace of mind to detach from all the daily stuff that is happening to you and people are still just always waving at you and commenting and honking and so on and well basically I'm just wondering what do you, how do you feel about it do you have any comments? Do you like it? Do you do you hate it? Are you noticed when you're on the road? You know, maybe it's just the country specific because the trikes are so rare here that people usually never saw one and it's just something unique they can see on the road. So maybe in the US or I don't know, some other country where they are more popular, it's just the usual thing like a, a standard upright bike and you just ride and don't think about this at all. So today I have also a bit of off-road part. I'm going for an early morning ride on the seventh day. Today it's Blancaster. The cakes are ready, the balloons are inflated and I hope to get back before she wakes up to wish her a happy birthday. The day is very beautiful, it's cold, there is frost on the ground, but it's sunny and it's so nice to be out and riding today. remaining cobblestone streets in Novisad. This is also where the Eurovelo cycling path goes. You can see the signs over there. So strange to see the empty boulevard. The silence is unreal. Day 8. It marks the beginning of my second week of uh, challenge, of my 30 day cycling challenge. And uh, the first week was actually rather easy. Uh, the longest ride yesterday was just 7 kilometers, but this week I will reach 14 kilometers in the end of the week, which will be already a workout of its kind. It, uh, it will also take me longer to ride every day, which is a, a challenge to fit in my schedule of uh, my full-time job and being with the children and the family. So, it's something to get used to. I am riding again uh, along Dunavac. It's definitely one of our favorite places in Novi Sad and it's also close to our home so it's easy to get here. And for me it's beautiful to be next to the water at any time of year. I do prefer the spring and summer but even in the winter it's, it's 
just nice. It's day nine, and today is the day when I need to go to the university, to my office, to pick up some things, and I will use my commute to as my today's workout because as it turns out the route to the university and back home is almost exactly nine kilometers which I have planned for today's ride. I'll take the opportunity to show you the university campus. Most faculties of the University of Novi Sad are located here except the medical faculty which is located just next to the hospital but we have the engineering, the natural sciences, law school, economics, technology and agriculture. This place is called the students square or the students place and now it just seems so empty. Usually there are a lot of people here sitting, reading, laughing. Now with this online classes it's, it's just empty. This is one of the narrowest cycling paths in Novi Sad and if you're wondering if I can pass with my trike, well, here goes. It's day 10, so it's one third of my 30 day challenge. Uh, it's going well so far, if I might say. Uh, today is another Wednesday, it's the day when I have classes from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and it's quite tiring. I don't know how other professors feel about this online teaching system, but for me I, I just feel I, I get more tired than in a normal setting, maybe because there is not uh, that much interaction with the students and I miss that very much. But then, that's what we have right now, we can just hope that it will pass as soon as possible. Either way, it's so cool to be outside in the middle of the day, between the classes. I mean, it's cool to get out, but it's also quite cool, literally. I'm in my skiing jacket today. This is the symbol of old and bad cycle paths in Novi Sad, where the cycle lane was built too close to the trees and the roots have lifted the asphalt over the years and now it's very bumpy and it's hard to ride, especially if you're on a road bike or another rigid frame bike. Actually, there is a plan to rebuild this whole street, the sidewalk and the cycle path during 2021. So hopefully by the end of the year, we will be able to show you the reconstructed cycle lane. It's day 11 and it's also the day when I am getting my COVID vaccine. Actually, the shot number two and I hope it all goes well. I won't have some severe reaction, a fever or something like that and that I can hopefully continue with my challenge. But anyway, that's a secondary thing. The main thing is that in a few days or weeks I will hopefully have enough antibodies in my system to be um, less scared to go around people and uh, just live a more free life and hopefully be able to travel in the summer. So far, everything went well. I just hope it stays like this. And then we'll see you tomorrow. Day 12. Today is just one of those days when you feel like you don't want to leave your home in the morning or your bed for that matter. You know, when you look through the window and you see the grey sky and 
that boring, slow rain falling that doesn't have an intention to stop all day and you just want to stay inside and, and enjoy the warmth of your home. To add to that, I was also having uh, some second thoughts if it's a good idea at all to go riding today because I got my vaccine yesterday, even if I'm feeling well. But uh, they say that you shouldn't do any workout after getting a vaccine. But then you can go for a walk. So I decided that uh, in today's ride I will just ride very, very slowly. And so it will be like if I went for a walk. And it, I, I hope it will be okay for, for my body. In the end I decided to go and it's not that bad. I, I did get wet in the rain, but I will go home and change my clothes and get warm again and that's it. It's day 13, it's Saturday, and today Andrea and the kids uh, decided to join me for my ride. Day 14. Uh, today we have some family plans during the day, so I woke up early to go for a ride. And as you may or may not know, I'm not a morning type of person. In fact, I hate waking up early in the morning. <coughs> but it's not the reason to quit my challenge, so I did get up and obviously I'm already riding. And in fact, when I do get up, I enjoy it because it's so calm and there's less traffic and I don't know, you can just enjoy the beginning of the day in a very nice way if you start it with a ride It's been raining since early morning Such a beautiful day to go out for a ride It's day 15 It's uh, the half mark of my challenge of 30 days it's also the beginning of week three and if we have a look at the kilometers that I've went so far it's uh, still quite low but this week will bring me some longer distances and uh, also some bad weather it's rather cold it's around five degrees Celsius and there is quite a strong wind this morning I took the kids to the kindergarten and we were carrying umbrellas and the wind was just blowing them around they were there for nothing so just you can imagine it's a rather strong wind today and also quite cold this is a relatively new street and even for me, it's the first time to pass this cycling lane. There is also one on the other side of the road, which gives plenty of space for the cyclists.